We're playing, uh, we're playing good right now. Um, you know, we, uh, I feel like with the tournament, once you get there, it really hits you uh, on what it's all about. So, especially with young guys, I don't know if you can really be ready till you get there. So, uh, but I mean, we're as ready as we can be. Have you thought about what it'll take to get in the NCAA tournament? Went a couple times, went all three. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'd like to win the mm -hmm. win the championship because that guarantees us to be in the tournament. Uh, we don't want to leave it up to somebody choosing if we're going to be in or not. So uh, if we can just go win those games, that'd be great. Does that add to the sense of urgency at this time of year? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, I think everyone's, you know, pretty urgent to get wins because if you don't, you're done uh, in a sense. I mean, obviously some teams go on and play in tournaments, but, you know, your uh, your fate's up to someone saying if you're going to be in or not. So it's a... Uh, it's a great time of year. When you look back at the season, in mid-January, can you believe the team's sitting where it's sitting now and you're on a hot streak, you've beaten the best teams in the league, and you were so far down early in the year and you got so close to Gonzaga at the end? Um. Yeah, I mean, I ex we all expect that, I think, the whole time uh, to win all of our games. So... Uh, yeah, I don't. It's uh, not a shock to me where we're at in the position that we're in uh, now. I mean, we're in a great position now to, you know, go get uh, three more wins and be in the NCAA tournament. How much did you guys look over the San Diego game, and what aspects are are you just focused on who you could play at this point? Uh, well, we're doing game prep for both teams uh, on who we can play. Um, and, you know, I think it's just like we've, you've played everyone already uh, when you get into the conference tournament. So you pretty much know all the personnel. Um, so it's just uh, going out there and, you know, getting wins at the end of the year. So that's what we're going to try to do. What do you think the problem has been the two years you've been here in the conference tournament uh, that you guys haven't been real successful? Uh, you know, I don't know. We uh, faced teams that were... Uh, I don't know, hungrier than us, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know how to answer that. You guys would have gotten a bit a free berth to the semifinals at the same format. This was the same format as last year. Do you do you wish you didn't have an extra game to get to the finals? Um, I think it helps us to have an extra game to get to the finals. I think it'll be good for us. Um, you know, obviously. We expect to win, like I said earlier. So uh, both the teams that we could play in the first round, we've lost one to and beat them once. Um, so you know, it's not like we're just going to overlook either of them. So uh, I think I think it sets up good for us, and I think we're all excited about it. Matt, a case could be made that you could have been picked to the all all conference team. Your honorable mention is that does that bug you? Is there a chip on your shoulder at all, or is that type of thing you care about? Uh, I don't know how that stuff works, uh, how you get chosen to it. But I mean, of course, I I believe personally I could have been on the team. Uh, it's not like uh, I don't think I could have been on it. Is it a chip on my shoulder? Yeah, I guess a little bit. Uh, but it's not like something that I play for. I mean, if I wanted to play individual sport, I would have played tennis. So, <laughs> Anything else? Do you have a personal preference whether you play LMU or Portland in your first home game? No. I mean, both those are really good teams, so we're just uh, excited to play either of them. How many comments do you get about the shirt walking around campus? Everyone loves the shirt. <laughs> it's a good shirt. <laughs>